Shit, that looks good. I'm Camille Rank. I'm a food stylist. You have to make the food look good for the camera. It has to look edible, um, like to perfection. What are you doing? It looks too heavy like that. Just keep it minimal. Four spears, clean, sexy, classy. You know, the best looking asparagus, the best looking poached egg. We had poached eggs yesterday. Um, so that was multiple, like 60 eggs we went through just to poach, to cover the different stages, the different angles. You can kind of bypass some regulations so that you make the food look good for the shoot. For example, if a turkey, you might just want to torch the outside so it looks finished, but the meat on the inside is raw. But more and more these days, the food is eaten, so it has to be cooked properly. Oh, we have to get um, the pasta out and all the vegetables because we're going to be doing that set. Okay, next. Simply pair your prawns with a melon-heavy Prosecco and you've got a meal fit for royalty. We have a pasta with vegetables, um, so we undercook the pasta so that it's easily tossed. An assortment of different vegetables for the actual stylist, the actor stylist, to dress on set. Um, they also have to eat it. She wants it crunchy, so we're undercooking the asparagus. Oh, the other thing we're going to be doing, which we haven't done yet, are, are going to be the veal chops. They're going to, that'll be later today. They're going to take the veal chops, and she's going to use a charcoal, an electric charcoal igniter, which is basically like a coil, and we turn it on, and then that's how we kind of perfectly put, place those grill marks. Basically, we always have to be ready to go when they tell us. They, can't, they really can't wait for us, because that holds up the whole production. Okay, come on. Why am I waiting? Where is the truffle? We didn't know this was supposed to be finished with Don't truffle. Don't speak. Just get it. And when Betty says she wants it, I want to be ready for her. Yes, the queen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My husband and I are just kind of like, we're both we're both in the business and we want to eat fresh and we have like a little garden out front. I think that if you get vegetables that are fresh off the farm that like a tomato tastes like a tomato and asparagus tastes like an asparagus, you don't really have to cook it that much and it just, it really gives you a satisfaction and it's kind of like a nurturing. I think that there's other stuff like fast food, um, the lower end or the higher end fast food type places. It's just mass consumption and the food isn't fresh, it's all mass produced. I don't get satisfaction out of that. Yep. I think it's, if you just have the simplest ingredients, the best tasting meats, the best vegetables, you know, and you make something from scratch, it's the passion that goes into it and it's the self-satisfaction that you get from that consumption because it's like kind of nurturing your soul.